In the heart of the Milky Way galaxy, amidst a sprawling tapestry of stars and planets, Earth holds a unique and somewhat notorious reputation. Known across the galaxy as the most dangerous planet, it's a title that has intrigued, warned, and sometimes amused the countless civilizations that thrive in the cosmos. The reasons behind this ominous moniker are as varied as they are compelling. Woven into the fabric of Earth's history, its inhabitants, and the untold stories that have reached the far corners of the galaxy. The first hint of Earth's fearsome reputation came from the Galactic Council's archives, accessible to all spacefaring civilizations. These archives, vast in knowledge and history, contained a special section dedicated to Earth, marked with a bright red warning. Approach with caution, the most dangerous planet. This warning was not given lightly, as the Council rarely deemed it necessary to highlight a planet in such a manner. One of the primary reasons Earth is considered so dangerous is the sheer diversity and resilience of its life forms. From the tiniest microbe to the largest mammals, Earth's creatures have adapted to survive in environments ranging from the scorching heat of deserts to the bone-chilling cold of the Arctic. This resilience speaks to a planet where life refuses to be extinguished constantly evolving and finding ways to thrive. At the center of Earth's reputation is humanity. Humans with their unparalleled creativity, relentless curiosity, and indomitable spirit have proven themselves to be both Earth's greatest protectors and its most formidable threat. Their ability to shape the environment, for better or for worse, has made them a force to be reckoned with. Stories of human bravery, sacrifice, and innovation have spread across the stars, inspiring some and terrifying others. Earth's history is marked by cataclysmic events that have tested the resilience of its inhabitants. From ice ages to massive volcanic eruptions, from meteor impacts to global pandemics, life on Earth has faced extinction-level events multiple times. Yet each time, life has found a way to endure, adapt, and eventually thrive. This cycle of destruction and renewal has imbued Earth with a mystique of invincibility, contributing to its dangerous reputation. The planet's challenging environments have made it a crucible for evolution, producing species of remarkable strength, intelligence, and adaptability. The tales of Earth's majestic and sometimes terrifying wildlife have become legends among the galactic community. From the intelligence of dolphins and octopuses to the strength of lions and elephants, Earth's fauna are viewed with a mixture of awe and caution. The story of Earth's reputation as the most dangerous planet took on a new dimension with an event that would forever alter the way the galaxy viewed this enigmatic world. It began with what was supposed to be a routine update to the Galactic Archives, a comprehensive library of knowledge spanning the entire Milky Way. The incident, now simply referred to as the Galactic Archive Incident, became a testament to the unpredictability and formidable nature of Earth and its inhabitants. Zellerix, a renowned scholar from the planet Zentari, had always been fascinated by the cultures and histories of other worlds. When he stumbled upon the warning label next to Earth's files in the Galactic Archives, his interest was piqued. Driven by a thirst for knowledge and a bit of scholarly recklessness, Zellerix decided to embark on a journey to Earth intent on studying its inhabitants and their way of life firsthand. Zellerix's ship, the Celestial Observer, made its discreet landing in a remote area of Earth, far from the prying eyes of humans. With technology far advanced beyond anything on Earth, Zellerix felt confident in his ability to observe without interfering. However, he quickly realized that Earth was unlike any planet he had visited before. The diversity of life, the beauty of its landscapes, and the complexity of human societies exceeded his wildest expectations. The first few weeks went smoothly for Zellerix as he observed from the shadows. He witnessed acts of kindness and love, marvels of human engineering, and the breathtaking beauty of Earth's natural world. But Earth, true to its reputation, was full of surprises. Zellerix's presence did not go unnoticed for long. A chance encounter with a group of hikers in the mountains led to the activation of his ship's cloaking device malfunctioning, revealing him and the celestial observer to the astonished humans. The encounter with Zellerix caused a sensation unlike any other. 
Initial fear and disbelief quickly gave way to a global fascination with the extraterrestrial visitor. Governments, scientists, and the public alike were eager to learn from Zellerix, who found himself thrust into the spotlight. In the spirit of Earth's insatiable curiosity, Zellerix was welcomed with open arms, his arrival sparking a new era of interstellar communication and cooperation. News of Zellerix's experiences on Earth and the planet's warm reception of an alien visitor spread across the galaxy like wildfire. The incident challenged long-held beliefs and fears about Earth, showcasing the planet's capacity for kindness, curiosity, and a desire for peaceful interstellar relations. The Galactic Archive incident became a symbol of hope for a future where the vast distances of space could be bridged by mutual understanding and respect. The aftermath of the incident saw Earth's reputation in the galaxy shift from one of danger to one of wonder and potential. While its title as the most dangerous planet remained, it now carried a dual meaning. Earth was a planet of untold danger, yes, but also of immense courage, creativity, and a willingness to extend the hand of friendship to the stars. As Zellerix continued his stay on Earth, working alongside human scientists and scholars, the foundation for a new chapter in galactic history was laid, one where Earth played a central role in the unfolding story of the Milky Way. As Earth's standing in the interstellar community began to shift from a feared enigma to a beacon of potential cooperation and unity, a pivotal event loomed on the horizon. This event, known simply as the Catalyst, would test the resilience of Earth and its inhabitants, challenging the newly formed bonds between Earth and the galactic community. It was an event that would underscore why Earth was still regarded as the most dangerous planet in the galaxy, yet also reveal the strength and determination that resided within its diverse ecosystems and societies. Chapter and the Warning Signs It started with subtle changes in Earth's environment, barely noticeable at first, but increasingly alarming to those who paid close attention. Scientists across the globe reported unusual weather patterns, shifts in migratory behaviors of animals, and disturbances in Earth's magnetic field. These anomalies were perplexing, seemingly disconnected, yet hinting at a deeper underlying cause. The Discovery The breakthrough came from an unexpected collaboration between Earth scientists and a team of Zentari researchers led by Zellerix. Using advanced Zentari technology to analyze the anomalies, they uncovered a chilling discovery. Earth was on the path to a magnetic pole reversal, a phenomenon that had not occurred for hundreds of thousands of years. The process, while natural, promised to be tumultuous, with the potential to disrupt life on Earth as it was known. The Galactic Council's Involvement The discovery of the impending magnetic pole reversal sent shockwaves through the galactic community. The Galactic Council, recognizing the potential for catastrophic outcomes, declared Earth a zone of galactic interest. A fleet of ships from various civilizations was dispatched to Earth, not as invaders but as allies, offering technology, resources, and expertise to help mitigate the effects of the pole reversal. United in the Face of Adversity The arrival of the galactic fleet on Earth marked a turning point in human history. Despite initial apprehensions, the shared goal of safeguarding the planet fostered an unprecedented level of cooperation between Earth's nations and their extraterrestrial visitors. Technologies were shared, cultural exchanges flourished, and together they worked on strategies to protect Earth's infrastructure, ecosystems, and populations from the worst effects of the magnetic upheaval. The Moment of Truth as the magnetic pole reversal began in earnest, Earth and its allies braced for the unknown. The planet was racked by powerful storms, seismic activity, and disruptions to electronic systems. Yet through it all, the combined efforts of Earth's inhabitants and the galactic community mitigated the disaster. The resilience of life on Earth, supported by the solidarity and cooperation of the galaxy, turned what could have been a catastrophic event into a testament to the power of unity. A new era. In the aftermath of the catalyst, Earth emerged not only intact but strengthened. The planet's reputation as the most dangerous planet remained, 
but now it was also a symbol of hope, resilience, and the unbreakable spirit of cooperation among diverse beings. The bonds formed during this time laid the groundwork for a new era of interstellar collaboration, with Earth taking its rightful place as a valued member of the galactic community. The events of the Catalyst would forever be remembered as a defining moment in the history of the galaxy, a time when Earth and its people proved that even in the face of immense danger, unity and determination could pave the way for a brighter future. As the galaxy moved forward, the legend of Earth continued to evolve, an ever-present reminder of the planet's unique role in the cosmic tapestry. In the wake of the Catalyst event, Earth's integration into the galactic community accelerated. The planet, once isolated by the vast stretches of space and the cautionary tales whispered across the cosmos, was now a hub of interstellar diplomacy, innovation, and unity. This chapter in Earth's saga, known as the Interstellar Bridge, marked the era where Earth truly lived up to its potential, not just as a planet of unmatched danger, but as a beacon of hope, collaboration, and progress. The aftermath of the Catalyst served as a catalyst itself, sparking the creation of the Interstellar Alliance, a cooperative assembly of worlds dedicated to peace, exploration, and mutual aid. Earth, with its unique position and recent history of resilience and unity, was chosen as the Alliance's headquarters. The decision was symbolic, highlighting Earth's journey from a planet feared and avoided to one at the very heart of interstellar cooperation. Central to Earth's new role was the construction of the Nexus, a massive space station orbiting the planet, serving as a meeting place, research hub, and cultural exchange center for beings from across the galaxy. Designed and built through the collaborative efforts of numerous civilizations, the Nexus was a marvel of interstellar engineering and a testament to what could be achieved when the galaxy worked together. It became a symbol of Earth's transformation and a beacon for ships traveling from distant corners of the Milky Way. The influx of alien visitors and the exchange of knowledge and technology sparked a renaissance on Earth. Human society was transformed by advances in energy technology, medicine, and environmental conservation, many of which were adapted from alien technologies shared freely among Alliance members. Similarly, Earth's rich tapestry of cultures, philosophies, and arts captivated the imaginations of their extraterrestrial allies, leading to a vibrant exchange of ideas and a blossoming of creativity across species. A cornerstone of the Interstellar Bridge era was the establishment of the Educational Exchange Program, inviting students and scholars from across the galaxy to learn on Earth, and vice versa. This program was not just academic. It was a profound cultural exchange that fostered a deep understanding and respect among the diverse inhabitants of the galaxy. Earth's universities and research institutions became interstellar melting pots of ideas and innovation contributing significantly to the planet's reputation as a center of learning and enlightenment. Despite the era's focus on peace and cooperation, the galaxy remained a place of unpredictability and potential threats. Recognizing the need for mutual protection, the Interstellar Alliance formed a defense pact with Earth as one of its principal members. This pact was not aggressive in nature, but rather a promise of mutual aid in the face of external threats ensuring the safety and sovereignty of all member worlds. Earth's strategic location and the bravery shown by its people during the Catalyst made it a key player in the Alliance's defense strategy. The interstellar bridge era heralded a new dawn for Earth and the galaxy at large. Earth's transformation from a planet of danger to a pillar of the interstellar community was complete, but its journey was far from over. The planet continued to face challenges both from within and beyond its skies. Yet, with the foundation of unity, cooperation, and mutual respect laid during this transformative time, Earth and its interstellar partners were better equipped to face the future together. As the galaxy looked to Earth, they saw not just a world that had survived its trials, but one that had thrived, becoming a symbol of what was possible when disparate beings joined together for a common cause. The legend of the most dangerous planet in the galaxy had evolved, and Earth was now celebrated as a beacon of hope, a testament to the power of unity in the face of adversity. As the golden era of the interstellar bridge unfolded, 
Earth and its galactic partners basked in the light of unprecedented peace and cooperation. Yet, beneath the surface of this bright new dawn, subtle ripples hinted at emerging challenges. This chapter in Earth's saga, The Shadows of Progress, explores the complexities and unforeseen consequences of rapid interstellar integration, revealing that even in times of great advancement, vigilance and wisdom are paramount. The technological renaissance that swept across Earth, while bringing numerous benefits, also introduced new dilemmas. The rapid integration of alien technologies disrupted traditional industries and economies, leading to social upheaval in some regions. While many thrived in the new global economy, others found themselves left behind, struggling to adapt to a world that was changing too fast. This dichotomy sowed seeds of discontent, reminding everyone that progress, if not managed carefully, could widen existing inequalities. Despite significant advancements in environmental conservation techniques shared by alien allies, Earth faced a paradoxical challenge. The increased energy demands of a globally connected interstellar society put unprecedented pressure on the planet's ecosystems. Innovative solutions to harness clean energy were in high demand, sparking a race to develop technologies that could satisfy the needs of Earth's inhabitants without compromising the planet's health. This period underscored the delicate balance between technological advancement and environmental stewardship. The influx of extraterrestrial cultures enriched Earth's cultural landscape, creating a vibrant mosaic of interstellar diversity. However, this blending of cultures was not without its friction. The challenge of integrating vastly different cultural perspectives, values, and norms into a cohesive society tested the resilience of Earth's communities. Debates over identity, tradition, and change became central themes, reflecting the ongoing struggle to find harmony within diversity. The Defense Pact, while a cornerstone of galactic peace, also cast a long shadow. The militarization of space around Earth and other member worlds raised concerns among pacifist factions within the Interstellar Alliance. The delicate balance between maintaining security and fostering peace became a point of contention, sparking debates over the best path forward. The need for a unified defense strategy was clear, but so was the desire to avoid the militarization of the galaxy. Beneath the surface of this era of cooperation and progress lurked an unseen threat. A rogue faction, disillusioned with the Interstellar Alliance's ideals and Earth's central role within it, began to stir the waters of discontent. Utilizing the dark corners of the galaxy as their hiding spots, they plotted to disrupt the fragile peace, believing that the Alliance's unity was a facade that hid the true nature of power and dominance. The Shadows of Progress era was a time of reflection for Earth and its allies. It was a reminder that with great power and knowledge comes great responsibility. The challenges of this period served as a catalyst for introspection and dialogue, prompting a reevaluation of priorities and strategies. The focus shifted towards sustainable development, cultural understanding, and the reinforcement of democratic principles within the Interstellar Alliance. As Earth navigated through the shadows, it emerged with a deeper understanding of the complexities of interstellar society. The planet and its inhabitants learned that progress is not just about technological advancement, but also about cultivating wisdom, compassion, and a commitment to justice. In facing these challenges, Earth reinforced its reputation as a planet of resilience, creativity, and a deep-rooted desire to build a better future for all beings in the galaxy. In the wake of the Shadows of Progress, Earth and the Interstellar Alliance found themselves at a crossroads. The challenges that emerged during this period of rapid expansion and integration had laid bare the vulnerabilities and complexities of building a truly united interstellar community. As Earth strove to navigate these turbulent waters, an event occurred that would test the resolve of its inhabitants and their allies like never before. This chapter, The Beacon Dimmed, delves into the moment when Earth's shining light in the galaxy flickered, threatening the ideals and unity that had been so hard won. The catalyst for this dark chapter was an unexpected betrayal from within. A high-ranking member of the Interstellar Alliance, entrusted with sensitive information about the security network protecting Earth and its allies, was revealed to be a double agent for the rogue faction that had been growing in the shadows. 
This betrayal allowed the faction to launch a coordinated series of attacks on key points within the Alliance, including a direct assault on the Nexus station orbiting Earth. The attack on the Nexus was both symbolic and strategic. As a hub of interstellar diplomacy and cooperation, its fall would signify the fragility of the peace that had been achieved. The assault was swift and devastating, exploiting vulnerabilities that had been previously unknown. While the station's defenses were able to repel the attackers eventually, the damage done was significant, both materially and psychologically. The Nexus, once a symbol of unity, now stood as a reminder of the dangers lurking within the galaxy. The attack on the Nexus sent shockwaves through the galaxy. Worlds that had once looked to the Alliance and Earth as beacons of hope began to question the viability of such a union. Fear and uncertainty spread fracturing the solidarity that had been the Alliance's strength. Some civilizations began to withdraw, seeking safety in isolation or in smaller, more tightly-knit coalitions. The dream of a united galaxy seemed to be slipping away. Despite the darkness that seemed to envelop the galaxy, Earth's spirit remained unbroken. The planet had faced adversity before and had risen time and again strengthened by its trials. Leaders from across Earth's diverse nations and communities came together, calling for unity and resilience in the face of this new threat. The message was clear. The ideals of the Interstellar Alliance, of peace, cooperation, and mutual respect, were worth fighting for. Recognizing the need for action, the Interstellar Alliance, led by Earth's renewed vigor, launched a concerted effort to address the vulnerabilities exposed by the attack and to hunt down those responsible. This was not a call to war, but a defense of the principles that had brought them together. The campaign was a complex mix of diplomacy, intelligence operations, and targeted strikes aimed at dismantling the rogue faction's capability to threaten the galaxy's peace. Through the darkness of this period, the resolve of Earth and its allies became a beacon once more. The efforts to rebuild the Nexus, both physically and symbolically, were accompanied by reforms within the Alliance to ensure greater transparency, security, and unity. The trials faced by the galaxy during this time served as a stark reminder of the cost of freedom and peace, but also of their value. The Beacon Dimmed was a chapter of reflection, resilience, and resurgence for Earth and the Interstellar Alliance. It was a testament to the enduring spirit of cooperation and the unyielding light of hope even in the galaxy's darkest moments. As the Nexus rose again, gleaming brighter than before against the backdrop of space, it stood as a symbol of a galaxy that had faced its fears and emerged stronger, united by the shared belief in a future where peace and prosperity reigned. Following the tumultuous events that saw the beacon of Earth's spirit and unity within the galaxy dim and then brightly ignite once more, the leaders of the Interstellar Alliance sought a new path forward. This path would need to ensure the stability and security of the galaxy while fostering the values of cooperation and understanding that had been so hard fought. The Harmony Protocol emerged as a beacon of this new era, designed to weave the fabric of peace more tightly around the galaxy's diverse inhabitants. This chapter explores the inception, challenges, and triumphs of implementing the Harmony Protocol marking a pivotal moment in Earth's journey within the interstellar community. The Harmony Protocol was a comprehensive set of guidelines and agreements, developed collaboratively by the Interstellar Alliance's member worlds, with Earth playing a central role in its formation. It was designed to address not only the security concerns laid bare by the recent attacks, but also the deeper issues of cultural misunderstanding and economic disparity that had fueled tensions within the galaxy. The protocol sought to harmonize the interests of all civilizations, ensuring that progress could be shared and enjoyed by all, without sacrificing the unique cultures and values that enriched the galaxy. A cornerstone of the Harmony Protocol was the Cultural Exchange Initiative, an ambitious program that aimed to deepen understanding and foster empathy among the galaxy's myriad species. This initiative expanded upon the Educational Exchange Program, introducing cultural ambassadors interstellar art and literature festivals, and shared community projects that brought together individuals from across the galaxy to work on mutual goals. Earth, with its diverse cultures and history of resilience and creativity, 
was often at the forefront of these exchanges, embodying the spirit of unity the initiative sought to cultivate. Recognizing the role economic disparity played in sowing discord, the Harmony Protocol introduced an economic integration framework. This system was designed to ensure that the benefits of technological advancement and interstellar trade were distributed more equitably across the galaxy. It included measures for technology sharing, support for developing worlds, and guidelines for fair trade. Earth's experience in managing its own economic disparities played a crucial role in shaping these policies, serving as a model for sustainable development that did not compromise cultural or environmental integrity. The protocol also included a revamped security accord, which aimed to prevent the militarization of space while ensuring the collective defense of the Alliance's member worlds. This accord established a unified response team capable of rapid deployment in the face of threats, while also promoting disarmament and the peaceful resolution of conflicts. Earth's strategic position and its history of facing external threats head-on made it a key player in the Accord's implementation, reinforcing the planet's commitment to peace over aggression. Implementing the Harmony Protocol was not without its challenges. Differences in priorities, values, and political systems among the member worlds necessitated a level of diplomacy and compromise that tested the Alliance's resolve. However, the shared experiences of past crises had fostered a deep-seated understanding of the need for unity and mutual respect. Gradually, the protocol began to show results. Disputes were resolved more peacefully, economic disparities began to narrow, and cultural exchanges flourished, enriching the galaxy's social fabric. The Harmony Protocol marked a new dawn for Earth and the Interstellar Alliance. It was a testament to what could be achieved when diverse beings chose to focus on their commonalities rather than their differences. Earth, once viewed with suspicion and fear, was now celebrated as a leader in the quest for a harmonious galaxy. The protocol did not eliminate all challenges, but it provided a framework for addressing them in a way that promoted peace, understanding, and shared prosperity. As Earth and its allies moved forward under the guiding principles of the Harmony Protocol, they did so with the knowledge that their unity was their greatest strength. The galaxy, once rife with discord and misunderstanding, was now a tapestry of cultures, ideas, and aspirations, woven together by the shared desire for a peaceful and prosperous future. With the Harmony Protocol solidifying the foundations of peace and cooperation across the galaxy, the focus of Earth and the Interstellar Alliance shifted toward the outermost frontiers of knowledge and exploration. This new chapter, The Edge of Discovery, was characterized by an era of unparalleled exploration, where the mysteries of the universe became the common quest that united diverse civilizations in awe and curiosity. It was a time when the thirst for understanding the cosmos brought about groundbreaking discoveries and innovations, pushing the boundaries of what was thought possible. At the heart of this era was the Uncharted Territories Initiative, a grand project aimed at exploring the unknown regions of the galaxy and beyond. Spearheaded by Earth and its closest allies, the initiative pooled the technological prowess and intellectual might of the Interstellar Alliance's member worlds. The project's objectives were not only to chart unexplored systems, but also to seek out potential new forms of life, understand the fabric of the cosmos, and unlock the secrets of dark matter and energy. A significant breakthrough came with the development of a new quantum propulsion system, a technology that dramatically reduced travel time across vast stretches of space. This innovation, born from the collaboration between Earth's brightest minds and alien engineers, was the key that unlocked the galaxy's farthest corners. The quantum propulsion system allowed for expeditions that were previously inconceivable setting the stage for an age of discovery that rivaled the most daring explorations in Earth's history. With the likelihood of encountering previously unknown intelligent life forms increasing, the Interstellar Alliance refined and expanded the First Contact Protocol. This framework was designed to ensure that any new encounters would be approached with respect, caution, and a spirit of friendship. Earth, with its rich history of cultural diversity and diplomatic relations, played a crucial role in shaping these protocols, drawing on lessons learned from its own past and from interactions within the Alliance.
The edge of discovery era was marked by findings that challenged and expanded the scientific understanding of the universe. Among these were the discovery of life in environments previously deemed uninhabitable, the uncovering of ancient civilizations that predated known history by billions of years, and the detection of cosmic phenomena that hinted at the existence of parallel universes. Each discovery fueled a sense of wonder and a hunger for more knowledge, strengthening the bonds between Alliance members as they shared in these momentous achievements. As the frontiers of knowledge expanded, so too did the ethical considerations surrounding exploration and discovery. The Interstellar Alliance, with Earth's advocacy, established a set of ethical guidelines to govern the conduct of exploration and the treatment of new worlds and beings. These guidelines emphasized protection of native ecosystems, respect for sovereignty and autonomy, and the responsible use of technology. Earth's own history of exploration, with its mix of triumphs and tragedies, served as a powerful lesson in the importance of ethical stewardship. The edge of discovery ushered in a new era of enlightenment across the galaxy. It was a time when the pursuit of knowledge transcended individual ambitions, becoming a collective endeavor that united different worlds and species. Earth, once seen as the cradle of human civilization, was now recognized as a leading light in the quest to understand the universe and our place within it. The era of exploration and discovery reaffirmed the belief that, despite the vastness of space and the diversity of its inhabitants, the pursuit of knowledge and understanding was a path that could unite all beings in a common journey toward enlightenment. As the era of the edge of discovery expanded the horizons of knowledge and understanding across the galaxy, it also set in motion a series of profound changes within the interstellar alliance and Earth itself. These changes, both exhilarating and challenging, tested the resilience of established norms and sparked a period of reflection and adaptation. The Tides of Change chapter delves into the transformative impact of newfound discoveries on galactic society, politics, and the very fabric of interstellar relations, highlighting Earth's pivotal role in navigating these turbulent waters. The wave of discoveries from the Uncharted Territories initiative didn't just bring new worlds and phenomena into the light. It also ushered in a galactic enlightenment. This period was marked by a significant shift in philosophical thought, ethics, and the understanding of consciousness across the galaxy. The revelation of ancient civilizations and the encounter with diverse forms of intelligent life challenged many long-held beliefs and ideologies, prompting a reevaluation of what it means to be a sentient being in an infinitely diverse universe. The influx of new members into the Interstellar Alliance representing newly discovered worlds and civilizations, brought about a reconfiguration of its structure and policies. The diversity of perspectives and needs highlighted the necessity for a more flexible and inclusive governance model. Earth, with its rich history of diplomacy and conflict resolution, was instrumental in facilitating this transition, advocating for a system that valued each member's voice and contribution equally regardless of their technological or military might. One of the most significant outcomes of the Galactic Enlightenment was the rise of the Planetary Preservation Movement. This movement, sparked by the ethical considerations raised during the Era of Discovery, emphasized the importance of preserving the natural and cultural heritage of all worlds. Earth, having experienced its own environmental crises and recoveries, became a leading advocate for sustainable exploration and the protection of planetary ecosystems. The movement led to the establishment of universal preservation laws within the Alliance, ensuring that the wonders unveiled by exploration would endure for future generations. The expansion of knowledge and the introduction of new technologies from the era of discovery also transformed the galaxy's economic landscape. The economic integration framework of the Harmony Protocol was put to the test as new resources energy forms and technologies disrupted traditional economic models. Earth's experience with economic adaptation and innovation played a critical role in guiding this transition, ensuring that prosperity was shared and that no world was left behind in the wake of progress. Despite the advancements and enlightenment of this era, the Interstellar Alliance faced challenges in maintaining unity among its increasingly diverse membership. 
The discovery of civilizations with vastly different cultural values, political systems, and levels of technological advancement created tensions that threatened the fabric of the alliance. Earth, symbolizing the alliance's ideals of diversity, diplomacy, and cooperation, found itself at the heart of efforts to bridge understanding and mediate conflicts, striving to turn these challenges into opportunities for deeper integration and mutual respect. The Tides of Change was not just a period of external exploration and discovery. It was also an era of internal reflection and growth for Earth and the entire galaxy. As societies adapted to the new realities brought about by the Galactic Enlightenment, they also embraced the possibilities of a future built on the principles of knowledge, understanding, and unity. Earth, once seen as an outlier, had become a linchpin in the galaxy's journey towards a more enlightened and interconnected existence, leading by example and fostering a vision of a galaxy where diversity was celebrated as a source of strength and innovation. In the culmination of a saga that spanned centuries, Earth and the Interstellar Alliance emerged from the tides of change with a renewed vision for the future. This final chapter, The Legacy of a Thousand Worlds, reflects on the journey that brought them to this point and looks ahead to the legacy they aim to build for future generations across the galaxy. It is a testament to the enduring spirit of cooperation, the relentless pursuit of knowledge, and the unbreakable bond of shared destiny that unites the diverse inhabitants of the Milky Way. A monumental achievement of this era was the creation of the Codex of Galactic Unity, a comprehensive document that encapsulated the principles, laws, and ethics developed throughout the saga of the Interstellar Alliance. Inspired by Earth's own historical documents that aspired toward unity and justice, the Codex served as a guiding light for current and future civilizations. It was a declaration of the collective wisdom gleaned from the challenges faced and the victories won in the pursuit of a harmonious galaxy. With the legacy of cooperation and mutual respect firmly established, the Interstellar Alliance evolved into the Intergalactic Council of Worlds. This body represented not just the political unity of its members, but also their commitment to a shared future. Earth, as one of the founding members, played a pivotal role in shaping the Council's mission to foster peace, advance scientific and cultural exchange, and protect the rights and sovereignties of all worlds and species within the galaxy. Recognizing the responsibility that comes with knowledge and power, the Council launched the Guardianship Initiative. This program aimed to safeguard not only the member worlds, but also uninhabited planets and life forms still untouched by the broader galactic community. Earth's history of environmental challenges and recoveries provided valuable lessons for the initiative emphasizing the importance of stewardship and the preservation of natural beauty and biodiversity for the enrichment of the entire galaxy. In a move to solidify the legacy of unity and progress, the Council initiated a series of beacon projects. These were ambitious undertakings that ranged from constructing interstellar libraries that housed the collective knowledge of the galaxy to launching deep space telescopes that could peer into the origins of the universe. Each project was a symbol of the galactic community's shared commitment to exploration, education, and the enduring quest for understanding. As the saga of Earth's journey from isolation to becoming a central figure in the galaxy's destiny drew to a close, the inhabitants of the Milky Way looked back with pride and forward with hope. The legacy they sought to build was one of enduring peace, boundless curiosity, and a recognition of the intrinsic value of all life and cultures. Earth, with its tumultuous history and triumphant emergence as a leader in the galaxy, stood as a testament to the possibility of transformation and the power of unity. The legacy of a thousand worlds is not just the story of Earth or the interstellar alliance. It is the story of the galaxy itself, a narrative woven from the threads of countless lives, civilizations, and epochs, it is a legacy that continues to unfold, with each generation adding to the tapestry of galactic history. As this chapter closes, the saga continues, driven by the indomitable spirit of exploration and the unyielding hope for a future where the galaxy is united in its diversity, bound by the shared destiny of all its inhabitants. In the end, Earth's legacy and that of the galaxy is written in the stars, a testament to the enduring quest for knowledge 
understanding, and the unbreakable bonds that hold the universe together. As the pages of history turn, the legacy of a thousand worlds shines bright, guiding the way for the future as the galaxy moves forward, together, into the vast, uncharted realms of possibility.